Okay, so a lot of people suffer from a lot of tightness in upper back. A lot of people suffer from neck stiffness, stiffness in the shoulders. You could suffer from headaches. You could suffer from pain in your neck, pain in your shoulders, pain in the upper back, pain in the lower back. So first thing we want to address a lot of times is our diaphragm, okay? And so it's very popular. We've been taught to breathe through our stomach, which I'm not really sure how any other way you're going to breathe. Your lungs sit underneath your ribs in the, in the upper quadrant of your stomach. So everything is going to expand, all right? Often people are focused on expanding, expanding, okay? They want you to breathe out, breathe sideways, they say. Whatever cool lingo they like to use that's trendy on the, the old social media. The problem is we start creating a wide rib angle. Okay, look at that. Look. See, it's wide. Okay, so you don't want your rib angle larger than a 90 degree angle. Okay, so you don't want, God, I can't turn my hands to show you. You can't want it, you don't want it flared. So what we want to practice on is bringing the rib cage back in. Why do I do that? Well, for instance, women who have babies, the God made them to where their ribs will open up so that way the abdominal cavity can move and stretch you carry the baby. So naturally the, the rib cage will go back in. So if we can stretch a woman's rib cage out from having a baby, we can stretch our own rib cage out by breathing so hard in, we can also correct it. How do we do this? All right, so let's take a deep breath in. Everybody likes to exaggerate. We don't go through the chest, we know that anymore, okay? It's not like we're going to the 1980s or 1970s doctors that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. We're gonna go deep breath in, belly, side, back, everything. Keep your hands on your ribs. You can do it like this if you want. And like a girdle, we're gonna blow it all out through our nose or through perf lips. Help squeezing it in. I'm not actually jamming my rib cage in. I'm... Now, when this happens, a lot of people find that their lower ab kind of pooch out because they, they're sucking in so hard. So when we bring that in, we're gonna pull that lower bat, that lower abdominal in and track it. Now, we don't wanna do this. And sink ourselves down into a slunch position. We don't wanna slouch. We wanna just. Now with our hands here and our stomach braced, I can now breathe and talk while focus on keeping my ribs contracted. And what I wanna do is take a deep breath in, four seconds, eight seconds out. I want to process that without flaring that rib back open again when I inhale. This could be very, very difficult for some people. So start simple. We're going to go two sets of 10. Your two sets of 10 should be consistent 10 breaths without the rib angle moving in and out. If you're unable to do that, count 10 good breaths without the rib angle moving. So once again, we're going to inhale. Big stomach, you should feel your back even stretch out. Blow in, blow out. I'm braced in. I'm not sucking in to where I'm going to die. I'm just braced. Deep breath in without now expanding my rib cage. You should feel everything just blow out the sides and back. That's when you know you're doing it right without the rib angle coming open. 